Hey you guys, thanks for watching my Marketing 101 video series. So uh, this is video two of five. Uh, we're going to cover um, the website, okay? Very important part of the marketing experience. Um, you know, nowadays many people uh, forego a website for a simple landing page or sales funnel. And you can actually build sales funnels right in your website, okay? Um, and it's really important to understand that a website is not, it's not just about having a website, okay? It's not like just about having a portfolio or having something online with your name on it, right? A website is a living resource, okay? And it's, a, it's it serves many functions. Um, what I teach my clients is that your website should be the domain, it, like a house, right, that you bring your guests to, okay? And when you invite someone to your home, um, especially if you just renovated it or something, you're gonna be really excited that they're there. And you're gonna wanna show them every single room. Um, you're gonna tell them the purpose of each room and uh, you're not gonna show them the whole thing at once, like on a map from bird's eye view, right? You're gonna go into one room at a time and you lead them. Why? Because they're in your home and you are the host. And so that's what a web sh website should be like, okay? Um, it should be simple and you direct them. You lead the people, the visitors, to where they want to go. I'm sorry, to where you want them to go, okay? And um, I had mentioned in the last video, in video one, about the branding guide. Well, the way you can also um, make web design very, very easy, especially with drop um, do-it-yourself templates, which I recommend Squarespace. All of my clients when I was a consultant literally requested to get off Wix or WordPress in favor of Squarespace, and now I only stick to it because they have the best customer service, hands down, um, and they don't nickel and dime you. You get packages, and they give you free marketing tools, um, and it's, it's affordable. So anyway. Uh, Squarespace for the win, but um, uh, the branding guide. How you would apply the branding guide to building a website is really simple. You go into the template, find the fonts and the color schemes, and you make it match those of the brand guide, okay? So the fonts and the color schemes will match the website uh, and the brand guide. And then also the tone of voice and everything, the content, the mission statement should be on there, um, should be on your website. And again, use the brand guide um, as a standard for what your brand will sound like. Uh, so when you write the content, you know, hmm, does that reflect my brand values? Hmm, do I sound the way uh, I want? Do I sound the way um, I truly am? You know, will will the right audience, my, my target audience, be attracted to this? And that's essentially all the only question you're, that the brand guide answers for you, and it's the most important question, question, you know, will am I attracting the right audience, my target audience? Okay, so yeah, just wanted to keep that in mind for you guys, for your website. It's really important that you understand, and this is what I, why I have a course in my shop uh, called the Squarespace course, and I even have a Squarespace course in branding guide bundle. Um, it's really important that you create your branding guide first and then the website because you want everything to match online. Everything should be congruent because you want people to go from social media to your website to receiving emails and you want them to feel as if they're getting the same experience they did on social media. You know, you should show up as the same person, the same brand everywhere online and if you don't, uh, it will cause you trust, right? Because imagine meeting someone one place and you're like, wow, I really like them. Then you go to their website and you're like, oh, this, hmm, this doesn't look like, this doesn't sound like them. They sound different on social media or they seem like they know more when they talk on social media. Um, so what oh, I've seen a lot of experts do is we tend to dumb ourselves down on our website. Um, and it's important we maintain a high, high posture on our websites and that our social media content also reflects that. So the website is the standard, you know, um, to match the brand guide. And then social media should match the website, okay? 
Um, so just remember going in that your website is a house. It should be designed to function simply and you should navigate to people through your house, your website, one page at a time, you know. Don't make them consume the whole experience at once. Create a true interactive experience so they can engage with you there. Upload the videos there. Upload your social media posts there. Um, make it a cohesive experience where they can't wait to get back, go back to your site to see what you have the next week or uh, what offers you have the next time, okay? So make it, make it an engaging experience for them because that is how you will also make your domain worth more money and how you will have better SEO, okay? When people are clicking on your site, you want better traffic, and this is great, especially if you want to monetize your content, you have to get a lot of traffic, okay? And a lot of um, people staying on your pages. All right, so that's that. And on to video number three, where I talk about um, sales funnels bringing people off social media and onto your website or sales funnel. See you there.